site. Yeah, they're gonna make their way out nice and early here, playing the backlines, but it's a push forward. Troll wants to contest for this backlines, but Pony's just not allowing it. Double and he'll go for more, maybe three, not quite. The shots go wide, but it's Curry. Quick in support patrol. Oh, this rapid could be information though, creeping out towards Alley. 30 seconds Troll's left. trying to contest this very quick. Frenzy, close quarters, it's a good one, but it's a 15 on clearing remain. this angle, and he'll pick the right horse. Lifeful though is still here, he'll lock him camp. Yeah, and oh, okay, steal. I mean, the fire rate on the headhunter proves to be just as strong as you would expect as he picks one up through the wall. Nice teleport away, courtesy of the rendezvous. And, well, oh, Curry, forced, forced. He's got himself a phantom in hand, and he's looking to take some heads with it. Steel will find another beautiful suck and a beautiful round here. Vested in TMM have spread things a bit more to full. We're seeing, oh, I mean, the initiator is good, but it doesn't matter. Seven stun, deals money going. This guy's not even buying guns. He just continues to invest Teleport's in the headhunter. And I think he's trying to make a statement here in this one to show just how strong this agent can be as Torify hops on the board for two. Now things opened up on the B side and T1 scrambling here in the retake. Retake potential is still strong. There's full utility up on seven and a low Torify, meaning one nade well placed to turn the tides of this one. Still no flashes on any of the agents means it'll be hard pressed to find an initial entry into the site. It's a high low in the back lines of the crossfire from Maine. A potent setup and they've asked for util to support. Still, T1, it's a bonus. They have no reason not to go for this. Mm -hmm. We're seeing some utility already expended, but you noted it. It's a high low. Out towards backside, it's two inside B main and Waffle able to find one. And here come the lineups, quite possibly onto the spike, but they might not be needed. But for the last one standing, and it's not for long, it's ZMM to find themselves in the win call. It's found a gap up towards heaven. And no ping on the bolt, doesn't matter. Torify is still able to pick up one and well, initiators doing initiator things, pushing on into the site. Torify picks up two, opens up the site once more, and this time T1 again. Numbers advantage in favor of Zero Marksman Silver as they're playing the retake. And Bob Plaza is behind enemy lines. Maybe getting a backstab here just around the corner from two. But it looks like Curry may be privy to this. No, he looked back for just a second. And I mean, T1, they think they're crunching the side. I think they're crunching themselves. With the Rolling Thunder comes through. Curry able to find one. It's Waffle taken down. And Plaza finally gets value on the backstab. Tosses out the hat just for style points. And Torify closes us out. Horrifying. Yeah, man, they might overthink this a little bit here. They're set up in a way where that spike is still postured towards B, and with the heaven take underway, there's a chance to just catapult this into a B site plant. Nice teleport back by Steel, but he won't live for too long as Torify shuts things down, and well, the chances of this round already feel all but gone for T1. One is just left to four on the pistols for the retake. Similar setup in the post plant procedure for zero marks when they're almost always going to be planting over for that main position. And one thing I've liked is Plaza's trips. He's keeping them mobile in the mid round. I feel like a lot of ciphers get stagnant on them, but he's fine to go recollect, keep playing for them, and set it up for the post punt. It's what ended Steel's life in the previous round, and well, now it's something to deal with in this one is it's two on each spawn for T1. And with this many bodies alive, I think the, the last time we saw this, it was four people alive. This time, all five. You can watch all these angles. So, yeah, you have a, a bit more playing room with those trips to seven. Trusty judge in hand is able to find one. Okay, Pony gets one back in a dink. So, that's going to be armor bot in the next round for Waffle. But I think here at Marksman Silver, A-OK -okay to trade that inside the rope room. But I think the idea is still this B side. Unfortunately, pushing up, it's right into the Seekers. And it's right into three defenders. Cloudburst goes out. It's Tokyo Here. tries to find some damage. Doesn't get too much. Plaza, on the other hand, swings out B main. Picks up the kill onto Curry. Pony will fall. And now seven forced to back away. Will he be allowed, though? Aftershock fault line. It's all tossed out in heaven. So ZMM can secure the site. Again, it's the same protocol. We've just seen B plan to pawn B plan. Anything. We saw the, the darts out towards A, which just create that paranoia, right? Yeah. When seven was up in heaven... Not much to be found, and well, he rotates over, and the rest of the squad just about follows. I think it's only Pony that might be hanging out. Now, T1 have finally read into this. They understand what the play is, and there it is. You don't need the orb. You just find the frag. It's still to pick up Waffle. Tour de Force online, and it's zero marksman. Finally, 
at a player deficit in one of these rounds. There was just a dog through mid, so that information is given, and they still hold so much on. Hey, the, the B site, it's already been suspected, and Seven's opened it up strong. Combination of Steel's utility to find the opener, and now ZMM, they're stuck in a tough position. Still one man out towards main, and the frag on to Steel is... Dead wife, able to hear all this, call over the team, so now they have just about the full amount of time on that spike timer before detonation and a viper wall still cutting that site in half but two players out towards heaven they understand what utility is available and they want to be away from it if they can as the wall is up the showstoppers use seven trying to find something he's low on hp torify tried to find the kill but just couldn't do it and the showstopper becomes a baby lockdown as troll now the last one standing everybody forced off the site stuck inside heaven but troll is looking to right his wrongs from the pistol round the spike is half the health is low but the time is running out. T1 working against the clock. They're both there. But it's Curry to find the frag, and it's T1 back in the win. Port of seven on the swing. And, well, for Plaza, he's none the wiser. Normally, the man to lock down this space thus far has been unsuccessful. He might just be walking into the trap. Well, he's ready for it. He picks up Pony. Seven's there to trade it back. And, well, B Heaven has been completely conceded. But I like this, Mimi. ZMM keeping T1 I'm guessing. Right, hey, we got to kill out towards B. Yeah. I know that's where we want to go. But we're not headed that way. It's a play out towards A. It's the Astro Stars down, but it's Steel right in his wrongs. Able to find that shot on the Torify. One of the most horrifying players on that squad. So able to find that kill means a whole lot for the team. And an Astro Wall should allow ZMM on to the site. But a player down here. 30 seconds left. They still try to get that spike planted. Waifo maybe get some value up in heaven, but Troll be wiser to push onto the opposite side of the wall. So 20 seconds on the clock, the spike will be planted, and it's T1 once more in the retake. Steel is low on HP, but he can at least provide himself as a trade. Waifu just dropping down. That's brave straight out towards hell. There's a man in main, too. This is a full pinch. ZMM has to vie for space. Not giving up too much just yet. Just holding the angles. Nice flash. And the toxic screen makes it kind of difficult. Flash goes out, wall goes down, but Troll... Doing it again, so strong here in the post planner towards the end of the rounds, but now he's the last one standing. It's a familiar situation for the Astra, but he's running out of time. He's running out of space, and well, he's out of HP. Action once more from the drone. Torfi cues up the flash. Well, and you can right just there. do that. Takes a shot, doesn't land it, but able to get away courtesy of the rendezvous. Meanwhile, the rest of the utility still used this way, and the knives are online. Steel, is he gonna try and contest this? Is a dog forward? It's Tokyo just running on in. That's a fantastic shot to find it. He'll hunt for more. Up in the air are two, but that Hunter's Fury, that's the biggest issue. And Pony, he's already tagged up. We'll tuck close, low on HP, but so is his opponent. And Steel, in the midst of the chaos, he's found himself into a new angle. A man just on the other side, but the shot missed. Gives away the game and teleports back. And now look at Plaza. Great lurk, your wife Fo. He's been timing. Plaza's passed it. Steel's given away his position. And now this flank's soon to come, surely. Surely, he's not ready for this one. Plaza, though, is giving away his position, and Steel has the headhunter out, does exactly what it was designed for, as he removes the cipher from the server. Now, we're into a two versus three. And look at the space for the attackers. They have a deep lurk out towards spawn, but Spike is still in mid, and Steel has it locked on down, but he's missed his opportunity. So, it'll be a fake on the run out towards water. Now the committal, but remember this lurk. Just playing with Waifo, the timing. Tokyo needs to find this. It's 10 seconds on this clock. This kill is critical, and he's able to get it off. Now, Steel, he's still known. They can suspect that Astra is out towards the B site, and now this round, it just falls to Steel. But wait a minute. They, have they weren't fast enough. They didn't even run in time. No. Oh my God. They get it. Last second. Didn't think it was even going to come through as Tokyo pushes too deep out towards spawn, trying to get it down to a one versus two. Instead, it swings against him, but Steel on the wrong angle, and Troll now the only healthy man remaining. No stars, though. But the plant is good. Pony up towards heaven. He's making so much noise and troll. He can toy around with this one. Go high, go low. There's options. He doesn't know the angle on the wall. Now he has to be aware. Look at Pony. He's just holding this so smart past the wall. The new pickup and a new round. 5-4. Now the favorite parade with. As he looks to find the first one. Able to pick up. Oh my goodness. There it is. They swing too soon. The drone spotted him. But Plaza unfortunately meets his fate. After peeking that one, I teleport away, so the paranoia is there. Where is the chamber playing? No, he's not able to find the next. It's Torfi and Waffle Curry. instead, initiating their way onto the site. Says Curry, tucked in the corner here in hell. Able to pick up one. We'll dog out for the next. His pony swings out, and it's the family photo. Three people looking at him. The suck is good as well, and seven. Now the last one standing. 
They picked him up. What can he get done here? Needs to go clutch. Needs three on the round. And the spike is ticking. Low HP on Waffle, but Troll... Who better than Troll, the last one, quite possibly, being alive in this one. Swings out, finds... To push. They're going to just fade past the smoke flash through Plaza. He's in such trouble. Is he, though? Troll was playing anti-flash. and well, Okay. He eventually goes down. It almost looked good for a second against the pistols, but two kills swing the way of T1. That spike, yeah, still in spawn. They get the nest egg right on top of it, and now it's zero marksman looking to play retake on the spike. Yeah. It's not the planted spike on the attacking side. Here comes the rolling thunder and Torify to lead the charge. Pony unaffected by that one as Tokyo goes up and over the top, and right now they're just trying to play the retrieve game. Spike picked up. Tailwind used to dash away in the B site. Now in the eyes of ZMM. Oh, they had to play there for a second with the gravel to trying to lay time, but it doesn't matter. Steel trying to peek to get things back to even odds. He'll lose his head in this post plant position. It's not perfect for the heaven side, but they'll re-clear it regardless. Two players lined up. They have absolutely no idea. So just Pony alone, and he just doesn't have the information available. Quite possibly even or 7-5 to five at the half. That's got to feel good. This time they mix it up completely. They storm onto the A side and... Spikes planted. We got ourselves a nice little 5v5 as a showstopper. Not going to find too much. Seven tosses out the paint shells. Just trying to keep the players at bay as Tokyo goes up top. The wall goes down. So now we can hear everything audible once more as the Seekers get a few tags, but nobody's dropped just yet. Finally, Waffle sniffed out. Taken down out towards main. Torify still alive after shocking to buy some time in T1. Mimi, they don't have a whole lot of that. They got to get going. Yeah, they might just lose off the time here. Torrifying is bought so much, and look at Troll. The backstab could be perfect. It's combined with Tokyo, and it's just a meat grinder. The dash across Tokyo for more, but it's down to a one versus two. However, listen to the time. It's already done. It's already gone, and Plaza, he'll confirm it. Zero marksman. Laser goes through. Boombot gonna follow. Paint shells over the top. Good flash. But one for one is still where we find ourselves. Now Steel starting to open things up, but here comes Plaza. And it's the Boombot on its last legs or its last wheels to find the kill before it ran out. It's fantastic because for, for nobody's loss, just some utility exchange, T1 have garnered themselves mid and an open road towards A, but to turn the road, it's Dwarfine taking down one curry on the trade back through for Plaza. Now A site completely secured. It's going to be left to the retake. All four out towards the spawn side for zero marksman. Yeah, and the thing that kind of stinks the most is uh, you, you killed Steel and... Uh, <laughs> He's the guy that probably won't have an actual weapon in his hands for four rounds into this half. So nothing really to pick up there. And they do just have to kind of go into this one with sticks and stones using their slingshots that we call classics, especially in these long range, long range angles, excuse me. And when you go into the meat grinder like that, you don't have a whole lot that you can get done. Although two are on site, Spike planted for heaven and Waffle might have... A pretty solid position. Tokyo on the cross. Waffle gonna give himself up, and Curry will take him down. Now, Torify, the last one standing, and sure, he's good for one. He's already got his one. Can he find some more with the low health bars? He's low as well, and it seems like the time will just tick out. The spike will blow, and we go into the next round all tied up. Torifying, taking the honorable way out. This is He's set up for this one. Flash forward. There's a pull coming. Now it is four trap in the middle. But here comes Viper Utility to aid Tokyo. Swinging for more. That's a little greedy. And it'll cause him his death. Now Torrifying on the site. Has to go big in this one. Time. That's a factor denying the spike can win this round. They might just do it. Not three, just two. Still, the timer. It has done enough. Troll will shut things down. Transition. It'll just wait. This looks to be the start of the round still though. Still backing away. Grab well. Does he swing this? Oh yeah, from the top rope. It's Troll to shut down. I thought it was safe, but not so much. Just Troll now blinded up. Still that judge is good, but horrifying. He's got a flash of his own reply back. He's just buying time for his teammates on this rotation. And notice out towards main. There's a man waiting and there's Plaza just charging on in through the smoke. Stunned opponents. It's easy pickings. But Pony, he shut down that main play. So now in the 2v2 it gets awkward. Horrify. Again, in this position, we've seen him go big in the past, and now he needs to do it, but can't get the job done. Pony on the shutdown. It's 10 seconds, and it's a plant coming through. Shock darts, and they deny. Yes, it's shut down. Nine seconds now for this plant. Another shock dart up, but this opponent healthier. Is he sticking it? Not yet. 
needs to hold on to this one, and Waffle has called the bluff. It's not a bluff. At the end of the day, the poker face too strong as Waffle now looks to swing around the corner. He waits. It's a matter of time. He spotted out his opposition, and he has shut it down. Waffle for the one smart. Oh, look at Tokyo. This is ratty. He has stars to play off of here, too. Judge in the close corner. T1. Oh, did they clear it with the dodge? Yeah, they've seen him. They spotted him out. He'll be forced to dash on away. Still, that's time bought as the hit is delayed by a grab. Well, but they just push right through, and Tokyo still here this time. Able to find all the value in the world. His pony, the last one standing, picks up one. Now has four more to worry about than his counterpart control. Well, this. But again, the, the clock, it's the scariest thing, I think, always with this squad. Stars come down. Plaza around the corner from the suck and picks up two. Neural theft and reveal the rest of the squad. And oh my. And he'll get out of dodge. A site seems the priority, but T1 still hesitant to commit as they'll inch their way towards the ramp. Dog taken down. Expect Plaza here, but do they expect Waffle? Well, they do now. As the drone comes out, it finds a tag onto seven, but damage exchanged back and forth. Waffle forced to back away, and DMM a player down. It's Dwifo. Hot trying to sneak back into main. Shock dart again, just something that you're not expecting, unfortunately. Doesn't find the kill, but it gets quite a bit of damage. Just still catching one on the cross, but nothing yet. Is the 5v3, the spike is planted. It's T1 in the driver's seat, and we'll see if ZMM. Decide to go for this push or hang on to what they've got. They've got the credits for it. Unfortunately, all this utility already tossed at him. Oh, horrifies. Somehow ready for this angle. He's Seven ropes, gets maybe. shut on down. Yeah, roll back accuracy is hell of a drug. Is Swifo 3 HP. He's playing so close within this smoke. But talk of close angle seals one of us of round reading T1. Yes, yeah, EMM. Green, and we're seeing that same thing here as they go up. Onto ramps. Steal. Dip of the spear for the contact. Tour to force, but the headshot's good for Plaza. And the tour to force shot nowhere to be found. A seven. Gonna trip the trap wire here. It'll give the information, but Waffle has to be quick on the turn. Nice flash. Nice gravity well. As Curry falls in the backstab, it all just goes sideways. Everything going south here for T1 and the Swifo. Now in the 1v4, full HP, it's a low HP plaza, and he walks away unscathed. Yes, Pit. Oh, no, yes, this could fall but apart. He doesn't have to fight. That's the biggest issue for him. Passing on the recovery, now they're holding a cross. Won't quite work out. You need to double bounce. They can be set up uh, to oh, break man. that, because we know other maps, we have those creative lineups to get something done. Who knows if that's something that's already been made or something that could be made is Plaza again. Well, the information was garnered. Now that there's nothing stopping the backstab, they look to go back to it. Seekers are out. Nice fault line. Going to slow things down as the toxic screen comes up. The Astro utility used as well, and it's only two on the site for now. Torify not here yet, but it doesn't matter. Plaza is second on the round as Waffle sprays down Dwipo and almost picks up Curry as well. A headshot through the wall finds this guy on half HP and on the opposite side of the Nebula Smoke Pony. Out on top of Torify, now a 2v2, but Tokyo, he's got the operator. He's got to find the perfect angle here. If they don't find something early, they might just look to save this one as it's too expensive to give it up, and they don't have the credits to buy it again in the next. So now working against the clock, they're just hoping T1 give him something. Oh, and they're going and to they peek straight into Tokyo. That's a free one. Troll had the second angle. I love that. It's patience. They, they realize that T1 came through. DMM, they're aware that this is going to be a hit out on the beast. So T1 moving quickly. Ooh. They'll get that pit down. And that in terms of tide of this round, it could end in a win if that Viper stays up still. Hunter's Fury It's going to shut things straight on. Down seven falls. The zoning's perfect to allow Tokyo to find a line. And Troll will just spray on through this weaponry is so strong in these situations. No chance to even get the spike planted in Tokyo. Oh no. Don't do it to him. Up top. Shorty in hand. Lifo will allow the BM to slide away. But Completely throws a wrench through everything. I, I think that utility has been huge. Unfortunately, we go back to it in T1. They've had enough. They're fed up. They're done losing fights at the very least here in round 20. As 7 pushes his way on through. One with the rifle, one with the alt, and oh, on the opposite side of the map, there's a couple of players for ZMM, and I think this is uh, this is where they'll call home for the rest of this round.
troll. Gonna get stunned up and revealed. Slowed down to Tony. He's got the perfect Please. angle for this one. Tokyo is still gonna try and hold on to this operator, and he has the angle to stay alive, but in a five versus one with Hunt already underway, this one's gonna be tough. Dash across, Shorty in hand. Does he bargain on the right horse? Not quite. Oh, he'll shut him. Set it up Whoa. to perfection. The blade storms will follow Torify for. Well, here comes the crunch right behind him. T1 got to move. This might have just been misinformation that cleared everything, but Waffle, he is still held. He's so good in these positions, but get ready for the flank plaza, the hammer, and Tokyo, the anvil. He'll take down one off the right click, so it's just seven left in the clutch. The youngster, the newest signing on this squad to finish things on through. As the spike will be planted, he needs to isolate a duel here. No blast packs, mobility is limited. Where will the fight come? This has not been a strong point. 4T1 and getting this spike down and I'm going to clutch it out. Paint shells, boom bot, all available. And I think Torify might still have the operator in hand. Flash comes through. The dash is there and it's troll on the backstab out from his cave. Right off the rip. And I mean, Zero Marksman, I don't even feel like they have to try that hard to read what T1 are looking to do here. Yeah, I, I had this whole image in my head created that Torify was going to stay a little passive, try and set himself up for that retake, but that doesn't happen. ZMM, they completely changed the pace in way of aggression here, right? They, they have not only... Curved ...about pushing up into that, even behind this wall. They do look to storm on into the site, and you already noted it. Torify here, flash ready as the Seekers go through. Plaza, I mean, just has zero resistance and taking down seven. It might just find some more as the shock guard kill comes through and everybody starting to fall on the side of T1. The bodies are dropping and it's Steel to finally get one back. But all the information and garnered as Steel will find another. Still a player advantage here for the defense. But look at this wall. He's gonna cut him off. No, they've grabbed the spike. Information should be given over. And look out towards B. There's still a man holding the Astro for ZMM in main. I don't even know if they have time. It's gonna be a mad dash. The triple player delaying more 10 seconds. They have to go now and look at Troll. Perfect angle, perfect line. Five, four, it's done. It's dusted. T1 has fallen. A new roster, a new squad, but no second chances for them in this game.